Fellow gamer and Twitch streamer EDP445 was wrongfully accused of child endangerment by a man we all love and hate, Chad Goldstein. Hours before this, EDP was seen on CCTV making himself a sandwich before forcefully being dragged into a situation he didn't want to be part of. Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, after doing countless research on this, I present to you A man named Bryant Morland was just about to hit his 3 million subscriber mark when he got a strange tweet. As you can see, right before your very eyes, EDP has been framed. EDP being a wise man, he sought out to teach this child a lesson about child endangerment. In the conversation we can see EDP's face being revealed. Now this evidence is completely false and I'll prove it to you. And as you can see by this message, he's clearly talking about her father because family comes first. Respect is all he puts on the table and the rest of the conversation is blurred out due to the misinformation they used against this man. Now leaked footage, Chad Goldstein clearly asks EDP to give him a dollar so that they can both go to the cupcake store. A cupcake? Yeah. EDP, not wanting to go there alone and ready to make new friends, did what anyone would do. Many people until recently started believing these lies made by Chad Goldstein. But ladies and gentlemen, I too wish I knew this before I was 20. Now before YouTube decides to remove this, I want to know if you'd rather believe the clearly unprofessional background check done by Chad Goldstein or would you believe the background check done by a YouTuber with 90 subscribers? That's right. My team and I have decided to recreate what was once known as an act of justice. With hidden cameras all set up and the man himself, Chris Hansen, nothing could get in our way. Tell me the EDP story. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -ba -da. EDP walked up to a cupcake stand and said, What are you doing? You don't know. Now, what do you think would have happened had I not been here and had there actually been a 14-year-old girl in that next room? You know what would be a huge turn-on for me? What? A cupcake. 